Hi, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. But a welcome to the show where we go ahead and discuss about the different colleges where you can pursue masters in economics. Today we have with us Partha Mukherjee, and he's going to go ahead and tell you about Symbiosis School of Economics. So welcome to the show, Partha. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So Partha, uh, the first question that students have is that. Uh, you know, Symbiosis School goes ahead and says it is MSc Economics. Is yeah. MA Economics different things? And if yes, then how? Uh, MA Economics and MSc Economics are, yes, different things. Because MSc Economics mainly focuses on the economic applications rather than the theories. MA Economics is based on theories. Previously, it or there only used to be MA economics. There used to be no MSc economics. It's a because we have seen that uh, just learning the theories of economics doesn't help much if you can't apply them in the real policy making applications, in the data data driven uh, decisions. If you can't use them, so what's the use of those theories? Hmm. For that, MSc came into play. Now, where Symbiosis comes, Symbiosis is the first college in India to uh, implement MSc economics in urban development. It was the first in India to implement this. Now we have five uh, specializations in MSc economics, uh, namely finance, data, uh, data analysis, or uh, data science. Then we have development studies. You have urban development. Got it. So. So, uh, for, for a student, uh, should they be going for a general course or should they be going for a specific course like finance or data science? Or should it be, should they be preferring masters in economics overall? Uh, I think they should be going for a specialization because economics is a notion, hmm. particularly saying it's an ocean. So, I need to think means I need to ensure myself that from which stream I want to go to that ocean. If I randomly go to any boat and tell them that take me to this, uh, this ocean, there may be that may be not the right stream for me. Got it. So how can a student get through this course? What do they have to give an entrance exam or do they have to apply in CUET only? What's the process of getting at Symbiosis? To get into Symbiosis, uh, you need to uh, first uh, apply and then they will you will be called upon for an interview. Hmm. The, uh, you will be based, uh, you will be selected based on your marks from your graduation. Okay. Uh, so you need to have a greater than seven See, if it is CGPA. You have to have a greater than seven. Then you will be called for an interview. Hmm. Uh, four panelists will be there. Okay. They will ask you about your background, your expertise. They will test you there. And then the, a finalist will be prepared. Oh, so there will be no written exam. It will no. be interview based. Yes. Got it. So um, how would you go ahead and describe the faculty and teaching style at uh, Symbiosis? Uh, you know, is the faculty competitive enough? The one that teaches at uh Delhi Uni Delhi School of Economics or JNU, how would you describe the teaching style at uh, uh Symbiosis? Is it different from there? Is it more practical in nature? How is it? Just one word, tall words. Okay. <laughs> we can't get them in their heads. We can't. Just can't. Okay. Means uh. Our uh, director always tells us that uh, we are just sugar canes, hmm. and you are you need to press us. You need to take away from us hmm. whatever you need. We won't be giving you just like that. You need to have the urge. You need to ask. You need to have questions. And uh, teaching in symbiosis is uh, not just from books and just from software. Uh, here it is always about debates. Always about critical thinking, always going for the whys and hows, hmm. not what. So I like that about that, uh, these things about our faculty. 
and they are available 24/7 that's the best thing got it so um for example the course at jnu or dsc is very theoretical in nature they don't teach you r python or any language or any other aspect so what about symbiosis do you have a coding program also do you do they make you corporate ready or what kind of things do they do as part of the course symbiosis is all about corporate because uh, in msc same 1 and same 2 we will be having research methodologies as subject okay where we will be uh, they will teach us how to do research how to write research papers mm. how to do methodology in researches using r python um, then uh, there is uh, excel recently we, uh, there will be they are giving value added courses for us where uh, there is an extra curricular activity like uh, game theory mm. certificate courses for game theory then we have power bi and excel advanced excel so it's all about being cor- in the corporate how to survive in the corporate it's not just only theory got it and what about the internships do students get internship after their first year uh yeah we are currently in our internship phase only yes. so i myself have cracked in the tata motor okay. uh, many have got into nabard rbi yeah. uh, exim bank and uh, then city bank oh okay and then muthut finance uh, tata capital the uh, con- constantly you will be getting uh, from linkedin also you have not uh, means you need not to go to linkedin the search for them the professors will search for you and send those links they will uh, give a, a google sheet about that which are all kinds of internships uh, national international all kinds of how to apply them where to apply they uh, there will be cv workshops how to build your cv ats core checking okay. what to include what not to include in your cvs hmm. okay and how about the final placement how is that at symbiosis uh, final placement uh, you uh, many companies are coming but not just for a single uh, specialization they are coming for the whole pool hmm so if you are in suppose international trade you need to equip yourself with the basic means uh, for example if i need to be a uh, if i want to be a financial analyst and i have got my specialization in international trade uh, here i need to mention that for uh, choose you can't choose your specialization just like that you have to give an exam which is an interdepartmental exam then there will be an interview you need to submit an sop then if the professor get satisfied then you will be given your specialization okay so yeah coming to that uh, in uh, the placements were from uh, kantar capital then city bank gave us the highest placement of 17 lpa oh uh, uh, five students were taken three f- from data analytics and two from finance okay then sun capital takes sun pharmaceuticals t- uh, took some students in analytics uh, then in urban development uh, four students were placed in international trade five uh, students went for their research projects uh, four have uh, qualified for their net so in a batch of 90 average uh, 75 of were placed 75 have been placed got it and till now they have not yet uh, means passed their for semester and they exam. have been placed yes and they have been placed okay good so uh, what about the fee structure at symbiosis uh, i mean how how much do you think a student has to or their parents have to invest in two years to sustain at symbiosis uh, if they are taking uh, any other specialization other than data analytics hmm. then 5 lakh 1 lakh 25 uh, per semester okay and 20000 will be a deposit money got it and if they are taking data analytics it's also is it no this is just yeah. semester uh, fee you yeah should... this is just semester hostel fees is different will be different okay and and if they are taking data analytics then an additional uh, 1 lakh uh, 25000 will have to be paid okay which makes to 6 lakh 25000 yeah 
because uh, in data analytics industry experts come okay okay so you have uh, webinars and everything with the industry yeah. experts got it okay and what would you how would you go ahead and you know uh, state the return from investment what is the roi here like how early can a student get back their you know return uh, till now i have uh, experienced that if you are coming into symbiosis mm. the main thing coming into symbiosis is their exposure mm. there is a, there has been a lot exposure in the international market from symbiosis okay name it dubai name it canada name it uh, new zealand huge opportunity there hmm. from symbiosis okay. and they will only refer it so okay. return on investment i think is maximum got it sometimes students get frustrated that why uh, college is taking so many classes okay college will give their 100% as a student you need to take that hmm. right so uh, partha one last question i have for you so uh, usually students are a bit you know confused whether they should be going ahead and they should be uh, coming for a private place versus a you know public university so yeah. what is you know what is your final take on it why should a student apply at symbiosis as compared to any other college or any other university i mean just one just one answer that the effort the institution gives that is the main factor you can go for uh, public co- government aided colleges yeah. there's no harm in that everywhere education is being only being provided nothing harm in that but what is different in symbiosis corporate related curriculum corporate means they are preparing you for that 9 to 5 okay they will be pushing you to your limits that how to survive in 9 to 5 yeah. after uh passing from symbiosis 9 to 5 is an 9 to 5 say an entrepreneurial journey they are just a piece of cake because you have been put into that kind of pressure for 2 years you have been accustomed to that right so that's where symbiosis gets altered from all other colleges and do you have students coming from outside uh, you know the state also like are they are there students living in hostel or do you see most of the people uh, from within the place within the state taking admission yeah, i myself is not from pune so i am from calcutta so uh, but other uh, there are international students from bangladesh uh, uh, africa they are from there okay. so they are staying in the hostel uh, hostel facilities are always available and how's the hostel there hostel is very much good very much good okay and affordable is it yeah yeah it's affordable okay got it and what about the mess facility how's the food at symbiosis food there is a there is a 24/7 canteen okay uh, for our students the mess is only available to the hostel students not for us mm-hmm. but the canteen is available to all of ssc the food is quite good we <laughs> that's the only source of uh, lunch we get there <laughs> okay so because you know a lot of times it becomes difficult for uh, people coming from different places to settle down at a new place and yeah. they have these questions what is the food what is the hostel life will will they survive there so you know it is important to understand these things also for a student uh, firstly if you are coming out of your home you are coming out of your comfort zone that you have to keep in your mind that i am coming out of comfort zone i will not get things like my home hmm. i have to do things myself i have to adjust myself to the area hmm. yes college will provide you to make you feel like home but it will be not like home hmm. the food first one month or uh, two months it will take time to adjust if you coming from another state or if you don't have the similar kind of food habits in your home mm. so it will take time to adjust but yes surely our human body is very much good in adjusting so it will be adjustable the okay. food is quite good in the hostel and you have options from multiple states 
got it okay right theek hai thank you so much uh, for your time today partha these were the only mm. questions that we had and i hope that you know um, even our students will be coming at symbiosis as your juniors and will be taking admission there sure sure okay thank you so much for your time thank you thank you thank you